And a building on this technique, another technique is we can use frameworks where we've got the whole structure mentally prepared before we even start answering. And again, that's on our online course. The, the main thing though, the main takeaway here is knowing the difference between actually knowing the strategy and implementing it because they are vastly different. You Now you know about it, but that does not mean that you can actually implement it. And the way you actually implement it and become confident with it is by doing it again and again and again. Now, third technique, and it wasn't an excuse just to put a picture of a cat in, but this technique will help you if you're unfamiliar with sort of like Western customs and culture. Now, a lot of students have said, where do I look when I'm doing the exam? Who do I look at? You know, because there's this issue with eye contact and maintaining eye contact. <laughs> now, you can stare at the examiner 100% all the time like that, that you will definitely get reported to the police afterwards. So a better way to do it is just to make eye contact, then look around, look down, and make eye contact again. That's a natural way. But if you struggle with eye contact, what you can do is just look at the bridge. This is the, sp the space between the two eyes, and you don't have to lock your gaze there. You just focus on that area, and it's a quick fix for the issue.